Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, no, I'm not going to ask you to subscribe. What I'm going to say is to a lot of my subscribers, I just want to take a moment, a short second, just to thank everybody for all their amazing wishes. Just I've not been particularly well uh, following a holiday, actually. Um, so and I, and I put that through on my channel and a lot of in a recent clip on my return, um, telling everybody about my experience. And I've had so many incredible well wishes. So I just want to thank everybody for that. And from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much. It really, truly does mean the world. So thank you very much for that. Today's clip takes us on very, very nicely to there is only one of you, my friend. So how many times have you ever been in a situation where you felt awkward or you felt out of place? Or perhaps you can remember to when you were growing up, perhaps at school, perhaps you didn't have a particularly great time all the time at school. One would hope that you enjoyed some of school, but how often um, do we actually look at society and think that actually sometimes children can be the most cruelest? But of course, as we go on into adulthood, sometimes a lot of adults sadly, haven't necessarily worked out who they are yet. And unfortunately, copy trends and um, take behaviours from online and one thing or another. And unfortunately, sometimes not everybody, um, majority of people are, but the minority of people, which again, sometimes have the lasting effect, um, don't quite necessarily know how to behave and make certain people uh, feel, uh, make, can, they can all make us feel um, quite sort of out of place, um, very uncomfortable or untoward and, and almost like that, oh, you could turn back away and walk out of the room you've just walked in, or or you could finish the day at work right then, or you walk into a situation and somebody perhaps makes you feel like, why aren't you sort of fitting in with us? Or perhaps, I don't know how you're working, perhaps everybody else is talking and getting on and having a bit of a laugh and a joke. Perhaps you put your head down and you're working towards the end goal. Well, let me tell you, my friend, that there is only one of you. And you may think he said that a second time, so what on earth does it mean? Well, do you know what? Actually, when I was going through school, I I am one of a twin. I grew up, and of course, I think, sad to say that I think I'm part of everybody's growing up through school, particularly high school, secondary school. Um, unfortunately, you can be bullied. There are nasty uh, individuals, which sometimes make it their most life's devour to make somebody unhappy and miserable. Um, but you know what? I, it took me a long time, but I forgive, um, and I forget, and, well, not completely forget, but move on. And I always in life try to think that there is a reason. So when I think back, and I didn't think it then, by the way, I try to think actually now that, do you know what? I didn't actually have to copy anybody. I wasn't a talker at school. I sometimes looking back on it, uh, wish that I would enjoy school a little bit more. But for me, it was, it was constant full stop work and um, working hard. And yes, okay, I reap the reward from that through leaving my education, carrying on with my education after, um, still up until now, actually. And yeah, absolutely, you do. You can build yourself an amazing career. You can build yourself wealth. You can build yourself a great, strong, um, reliable career, which is going to look after you. But one thing is, sometimes if you don't enjoy the then and and now in that moment, um, and life passes us by, um, you don't always get to enjoy. And of course, unfortunately, we look back on things and wish that we did. And sometimes I do. Now, going on to something a little bit more of a topic of what we're talking about, that there is only one of you. What I'm trying to say here is that actually, you cannot help your chemical makeup of who you are as a person. And I mean, if you're a soft hearted person, if you take everything to heart like me, and you worry about absolutely everything, don't worry about it. Is that strange to say that? but because you are you. And in my heart, faith means everything to me. So in my mind, God made me exactly the way he wanted me to be. He made absolutely every single one of us different. He knows exactly even how many hairs we have on our head. He created all of us. He created all of us in his own image, and that's exactly who we are. So there is only one of us. Now, if you're not of faith, let me tell you something, that this life is a blessing, whether or not you're of faith or not. We all hopefully agree with that, that this is a blessing every day. We get to wake up and we get to open the door and we get to breathe air in our lungs and walk one step in front of the other when there's poor souls out there who sadly, unfortunately, don't. It's like if we worry about age, it's if we worry about turning another year older. I always try to look at that, that it is a blessing that we get to turn another year older as there are some poor souls who unfortunately stay that age forever. So just on the back of those two notions which we've covered there, has it set in yet that there is only one of you? So Whatever you are in life, if you're a worrier, if you're a hard worker, if you seem to be able to just get through life on a whim and you're laughing and joking every single day, then fantastic. 
but that is hard work in itself. And if you can get through, then amazing. If you're somebody like me who worries about everything on every single corner of life, then hold fire a little bit sometimes and don't be so nasty on yourself or hard on yourself as to speak, because there is only ever one of you in this world. So no matter how far you travel, there will never be another you. Like, for example, me, there'll never be another Bradley. Isn't that weird to say that out loud? So try to think of yourself as a blessing, first of all, and then bear in mind, don't keep that blessing just with yourself. <laughs> you have to pass it on in this life. Now, you don't always have to, but it will do you good. And you think, well, how will it do me good? It'll do your soul good. It will do you as a person good to be able to pass that on. So when you realize that you are a blessing, work hard then at not thinking about that you want to be somebody else or want to copy the next trend, but you are a blessing. So instead of worrying about all of that, there's only one of you. So let's work together at passing that blessing on of who we are. So a lot of people will say, how do you always see the good in people? Or how do you always try to see the good in people? I'll be honest, I am not perfect. I don't proclaim to be perfect at all in the slightest. I've seen some different things through growing up with people. I've seen different things in my workplaces, which I've been, unfortunately, I've been in, um, I was in quite a nasty situation in workplace bullying, and it was my manager. And actually, when it came to light and I wanted to try and sort it out, nobody would believe me. So in the end, what I done, at the time, it was really, really hard. But what I done is I took myself out of that situation and I took a bit of a break for studying and then I moved on. Now, as much as that was not as simple as it sounds, it was a real traumatic time. Looking back on it, I thought that actually, do you know what? There's loads of that type of person out there. So the person who used to bully me, who used to make life hell for me in that particular job. Um, there's plenty of those people out there, sadly. But you know what? It's important that in such a troubled world of what we live in today, it's important that we don't, and I know it's hard, and believe you me, I'm one of a twin, and it's almost like my twin does a retaliating, and I don't. It's almost like good cop, bad cop. But it's it really is important that we don't stoop to their level, and that in a way we find a reason to not justify it, but to try to understand. And I think once if you try to understand, if you try to talk these things through, if you try to communicate, and then all of that doesn't work, then absolutely, absolutely change your whole approach, change the dynamic. And if it means taking yourself out of that situation, and if you're a faith, actually, do you know what, what you can say in your prayers is think, well, actually, Lord, do you know what? I don't know what's going on with this person. I'm trying really, really hard. I'm a good person. I'm doing good in this life. I'm going to leave this up to you, Lord. And that's perfectly fine to say that. And if you're not a faith, then the worst thing in the world is to retaliate and then come down to the, your, to their level. Because then at the end of the day, you'll know, you'll know better. And I know that sounds awful, and it does not work in every single situation in this life at all. Some of this life we will never understand. Some of the horrific things we see in this life we will never, ever understand. Sometimes there is sadly just cruelty in this world. There is evil, sadly, in this world. And that's why I say to you, my friend, there is only one of you. So if you're in a bad situation, and perhaps you're finding life really, really hard, or perhaps you've got some, I don't know, money issues, or perhaps relationship issues, or perhaps somebody's ill in the family, or perhaps you're trying to get your life off of that first step. And that's really hard. I mean, I've lived my 20s now. They can be really, really stressful when you want something in life, when you want your life to be in a certain situation or career or or a certain wealth pot to be able to buy your first property or your first car. Do you know what? Think, okay. Think to yourself that actually, don't rush, okay. There is only one of you. Do it your way, okay. And no matter what, as long as you get to the end and you pass that line, of whatever success is for you, okay, and if you get to that goal, then that's what you need to hold on to. Not whatever anybody else is doing, or if somebody else has done it already before you, okay, they haven't walked your path. Nobody's walked my path. No one will ever walk your path or mine. So think of it, there's only one of you, and you see, every aspect we're talking about here, it's coming back, and believe me, you can tell, can't I, that I've spent a lot of time thinking about this. But my friend, it's a huge important lesson I have learned through a lot of tough times, a lot of difficult times, ill health and challenging times, which have, which have had to force my different direction in life in a career. Um, but stay true, stay strong. Don't be copying someone else's behavior. Don't be copying somebody else. Yeah, have fun with a trend or whatever, but stay true to you because there is only one of you and you are incredible. You are important. You are strong. You can get through this and you can get through anything because as a quote from one of my favorite films, you can deal with everything 
No, sorry, you can deal with anything because you've already dealt with everything. Now, some people wouldn't have, and God bless them, and I hope you never have to, but some would have. So bearing in mind, you can deal with anything because you've dealt with everything, and there is only one of you in this world. And that's how just incredible you are. So when you have a bad day, or somebody really, really winds you up the wrong way, or someone's nasty to you, okay, what I do, because faith means a lot to me and it's my direction in life, is I do turn to prayer. Okay, I also have a very, very strong family network, um, and that's important to have that. But if you're different and you don't or you don't wish to do that, then just remember that if you take anything away from this clip, that there is one of you, you are important, you are strong, there's nobody else in this world, and what you're feeling right now and in every situation is very, very valid. Okay, I think a lot of things in life where we kind of look at society now and think that it's it's sort of channeled into certain avenues, like that when you hit your 20s, your later 20s, you've got to be doing this, you've got to be thinking this, perhaps when you get to your 30s, your 40s, you've got to do this, you've got to be thinking about that. And if you don't, and if you break those moulds, it's almost like that society's like, uh-uh, what's going on? So just remember, what have we been saying? There's only one of you, and none of that matters. As long as you're going to get there, and you know you're going to get there, perhaps it may take you twice as long. It doesn't matter, as long as you're going to get there. Remember, there's only one of you. Catch a trend now. And I always think, let's just last this on a really positive note, that we've already, we've already said it, haven't we, that we do live in, unfortunately, a world where there is a lot of evil. Now, sometimes it's what we do with that. Now, unintentionally, sometimes, that if somebody says something, and let's take, for example, in a workplace or in a public situation, and we see something, and for example, possibly it may have made somebody feel awful. Let me ask you this. How many times have you unknowingly been demoralizing to somebody, or let's take it even further, nasty to somebody? How many times have you looked at somebody and perhaps they've been feeling really conscious about something, but somebody may have made a bit of a sarcastic joke, but yet they've gone too far and you've sniggered along with it? Now, of course, we all do things in jest and we all do things which we don't mean, we all make mistakes, none of us are perfect, okay, as long as we are trying to do good in this world, as long as we are good people, and we help one another, and we take care of one another, and we look out for one another, then that is great, that's the ultimate goal, but so, sometimes, unfortunately, we don't necessarily know, or we can do things where we don't realise, so it's important then when that happens, to actually pick ourselves up on it, and if you witness it, I urge you to just pick somebody else up on it as well, because and I don't mean cause an altercation. I mean, if you're with a friend and unknowingly that they've made somebody feel perhaps even a little bit more flatter or a little bit more demoralized, or perhaps they've even been downright nasty, but not knowing about it. And you may think to yourself, how can you not know it? You'd be surprised. You'd absolutely be surprised. Sometimes even just joining in laughter with a joke, which somebody's not took as a joke, can be so detrimental to a person's well-being. So I think we all just need to be careful in this world. We've gone through so much in recent years, the COVID pandemic, and there will be lots of stresses and strains about the cost of living crisis. So people's attitudes have changed to everyday life, to one another. Humor's changed. Humor's changing all the time. Um, and what people would have found funny decades ago won't be funny now because of what people have gone through. Another huge, huge topic is that when we're in a situation, um, and that could be in the workplace, again, that could be out in public, that could be if you're doing something, and um, it could be somebody who is of larger build, um, or, and I always think, if you're rude to somebody in that way, and yet you talk about how somebody is incredibly thin, um, that is just as rude, that is just as awful, there is only one of them, they are beautiful in their own right, they are one, they are an individual, and they are perfection themselves, okay? It's not up to anybody else to call out if there's an issue, or if there's potentially a health issue, or a mental health issue, or a well-being issue. There's none of no one else's business. That's just them and whoever they choose to connect with. It could just be them. So I always think, be careful, because sometimes even just a facial expression can be detrimental and really, really nasty. I think moving on from that, if we take that a little bit more further in society as a whole, if somebody is gay, if somebody is bisexual, if somebody is whatever they want to um, name themselves, forgive me, I'm very, I'm a little bit ignorant to that. I don't, I don't follow all of that. I don't necessarily know all the names to that. But in society, if people pick, how can how can you put that? If people sort of single somebody out for that, 
Um, and let's be honest, I bet you there's a lot of people who can actually um, remember or recall a nasty situation where someone's either mocked somebody or took the mickey or made a silly comment or a joke. And you look back on it and you think, Do you know what, that was damn right nasty. That was really, really awful. Again, there is only one of them. They are a blessing to this world. Whoever you are, we are all a blessing to this world and a blessing ourselves. Whether or not we want to hold on to that, whether we want to pass that on, that's another thing. But if somebody wants to turn in being quite facetious and quite vindictive and quite sort of self-centered, yeah, they're an amazing person, but bless them, they've not woken up yet that they need to pass it on. They need to try and pass it on and do good as well and treat others with the same respect and, and pass that blessing on. Not everybody realizes that. Taking it a little bit more further, disability. And sometimes, and this is where we're probably going to finish it up, is that sometimes disabilities, we can't always see them. Like mine, for example. Yes, I have a hearing issue, but I'm not deaf. I'm not silly. I have a hearing problem. Yes, I have a disability. But what I lack in hearing, I make up for in many other different attributes and qualities. It took me a lot of years to be able to realize that. And I've got that from my blessing of parents and my dear nan. On that note, my friends, there is only one of you. So God bless. I hope you found this insightful. And if you do have any questions at all for me or any, any, anything you want to ask at all, then please leave them down below. But if you take anything away from this message at all today, whatever you're going through right now, and you're thinking to yourself, I wonder if I need to change. I wonder if I need to lose weight. Or I wonder if I need to make myself look like that or change my hair or change my teeth or dress differently or act differently or speak differently. No. There's only one of you and you're a blessing and you're amazing and you're strong and you can deal with anything because you've dealt with most probably everything. God bless. Take great care. And until next time, I'll be seeing you then. Bye for now.